Hello everyone, this is Megan from KenHub, and welcome to our tutorial on the femoral artery and its branches. The femoral artery is the major blood supply to the lower limb. It supplies most of the thigh as well as the entirety of the leg and foot. During this tutorial, we'll go over the anatomical course of the femoral artery and talk about its branches. To finish up, we'll go over a few clinical points about the femoral artery, which are helpful to know in clinical practice. So in this illustration, we can see the femoral artery highlighted in green, with the surrounding soft tissues removed. We can also see the transition from the external iliac artery to the femoral artery as it passes underneath the inguinal ligament, which is this structure here. So the first thing you need to know about the femoral artery is that it is a continuation of the external iliac artery. As you can see in this image, the aorta bifurcates into two common iliac arteries. Each common iliac artery then bifurcates into the external iliac artery and the internal iliac artery. Two notable branches of the external iliac artery are located in this region here, so now let's discuss them in more detail. The vessel highlighted in this image, just before the external iliac artery passes under the inguinal ligament to become the femoral artery, is the inferior epigastric artery. This vessel always arises just before the external iliac artery reaches the inguinal ligament. It passes up via the transversalis fascia and then pierces the rectus abdominis muscle. Now let's see another artery, which arises nearly at the same level as the inferior epigastric artery, but on the opposite side. This is the deep circumflex iliac artery, which as you can see, arises from the lateral aspect of the external iliac artery. I must mention that this image is slightly misleading, as it appears that the deep circumflex iliac artery originates after the inguinal ligament as a branch of the femoral artery. However, this is not the case. This artery is a branch of the external iliac artery and arises at the level of the inguinal ligament, where the external iliac artery becomes the femoral artery. It ascends obliquely and laterally, posterior to the inguinal ligament, and then it travels to the anterior superior iliac spine, where it anastomoses with the ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery. Okay, so we've successfully established that the femoral artery is a continuation of the external iliac artery. But where does the femoral artery begin? The ligament highlighted here in green is known as the inguinal ligament. You can see in this image that the external iliac artery passes beneath this ligament. It passes under the inguinal ligament about halfway between the anterior superior iliac spine, which is an important bony landmark of the hip bone, and the pubic symphysis, which is a joint that unites the two pubic bones of the hip. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.